Well, hello there. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing so well. I was just about to head out for a quick errand and I thought maybe I should show you my outfit because I'm wearing something that I've been wearing like on repeat for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pattern with me. I am the poster child of repeating outfits and I am proud of it. So essentially what we're doing today is I'm gonna talk you through a few outfits that I've been wearing on repeat recently. How fun is that? We're starting off with the most casual look of them all. Draped over my shoulders, I have a Ralph Lauren cable knit. This one is in navy blue with a white little Ralph Lauren guy right there. This one I drape over my shoulders at least three days a week. Literally. Then underneath, <laughs> like my favorite little sweater of all time, this blue Las Vegas little crew neck or whatever it's called. This sweater is life. My dad bought it for me like a decade ago when he was on a work trip in Las Vegas. And I was like, can you buy something from me? You know, I was like 12. <laughs> He was like, sure, what do you want? <laughs> and then he came on with this and I am still obsessed. I still wear it like a billion years later and I think it still looks so cute. I'm obsessed with this blue color. I feel like it brings out the blue in my eyes. Do you agree? <laughs> Hopefully you do. I'm wearing a Saint Laurent envelope chain wallet. This is my gray one with silver hardware. I love this one so much and the chain sparkles so nicely in the sunshine. I love it. I have so many layers. I feel like I have to show you all of them. <laughs> I'm wearing my Prada sunnies. These are my new tortoiseshell Prada sunnies that I got as a gift. They're a slight cat eye. I think they're so cute. Apologies for the reflection, but so cute. We love. Then to stick with the blue theme, I'm wearing my, where is it? My blue little click H bracelet. I'm wearing my normal jewelry, so my rings, my Omega watch. Then obviously underneath, I'm wearing my Burberry little polo with the little Burberry guy right there and it's a stripe. And then I'm wearing tee blue jeans. I'm gonna wear shoes, obviously. I'm thinking either my trusty, dusty, literally Saint Laurent sneakers. These are the comfiest sneakers of all time. I don't wanna have them too close to your guys' face because they're a little bit... <laughs> Not pristine, not cute, but I adore them. I was thinking also a chic little option could be my Sebago little sailing shoes. Look at them. So cute, they're not as disgusting, but I don't wanna have them super close to you guys either. So these are my shoe options. I'm gonna try on both and you're gonna see what the look is. And guys, that is my casual running errands outfit. Let's move on to something a little bit less casual. So guys, we're moving into a little bit more of a formal outfit, but still kind of low key, kind of toned down. The kind of outfit that I would wear on like a casual day in the office. We are keeping the Levi's denim that my mom wore in the 80s, of course. Can I get them in frame? We love these jeans. <laughs> With that, I'm wearing my Brooks Brothers little button up. I am obsessed with this. This has a little like slim stripe. It has the white cuffs. It has the white, what's it called? Lapels up here. It has the kind of bright blue little Brooks Brothers guy right there. And then as per usual, we're draping a little Ralph Lauren polo over our button up of course. We're then wearing my Vivaya loafers. These are my Vivaya loafers and the Amelia style with the Addy bows. These are so comfy. So I'm still obsessed with these. I wear them a lot. The soles do not show any signs of wear yet. So I'm very happy about these. I'm wearing them with this outfit. Then also for my outerwear for this outfit, we're pairing my beloved. Burberry Sandringham trench coat in the short style. I think this dresses up any outfit of this kind of vibe immensely. I think it goes so well and I think it's so chic with the little, you know, details and stuff. So I'm obsessed with this. And this year, 
I've been obsessed with my vintage little Celine Triumph tote because it goes with everything. It has navy blue, it has gray, it has black, it has brown. What more could I wish for in this world apart from a bag with all of those? colors you know so that is the look and then my next look something that's a little bit different but still on the same kind of outfit vibe we're wearing this gray little number this is a gray blazer it's quite fitted it has gold buttons it has slightly cropped sleeves i am obsessed i'm pairing it with my philippa k little thin knit turtleneck with that i'm still wearing my blue levi's denim that i always wear and that my mom wore in the 80s we know the vibe and i'm pairing them with a little maroon cartier belt that is both silver and gold hardware so it literally goes with everything i don't even feel bad for pairing these gold buttons with my silver jewelry you know it's a vibe it's a mood it's a lifestyle <laughs> This belt is a lifestyle, can you imagine? And depending on the level of items we need to bring, clearly I am a repeat wearer. When I'm obsessed with something, I am obsessed. So I'm still showing you the two same bags. This is my Saint Laurent envelope chain wallet or my Celine toe, which I just showed you. So I could do either option. So either my little you know, cute YSL bag or my Celine tote. Look at us. We could do both. No, we don't do both. Teehee, they're back. <laughs> and obviously, I think the maroon little click H bracelet goes so well with the red on the sneaker, but also the little Cartier belt. Such a cute combination. I'm obsessed with this look. It's such an easy one to recreate as well with stuff that you already have in your wardrobe. So let's move into something that's not including these jeans because I promise I don't actually wear them every day. I do have other pants as well. So let's move on. <laughs> the most formal look of them all in this video. This is what at least I would call a little bit towards business formal. It's Essentially, we're starting with this BCBG silk shirt. I adore this shirt. Currently, I'm just wearing a sports bra underneath, so please ignore that. <laughs> but you know, I'm at home. I'm just showing you my outfits. Don't mind my sports bra. This one has a little bit of an extended sleeve. Like I said, it is silk, so it feels so luxurious. I'm just wearing my same jewelry as always. I'm wearing my Omega watch. This mauve color of my Hermes Click H bracelet, which I think is so cute. And for this type of outfit, because we will have a lot going on up here, I think it's best paired with my hair like slicked back in a high pony. Because I feel like that also gives it a little bit more of a formal or kind of businessy look. We're then pairing it with my favorite little Philippa K blazer. This one is navy blue. I think it's so cute. It has a little bit of a sharper shoulder, so it gives it, once again, a formal kind of edge to the outfit. My favorite little pop of color of life, my Hermes Maxi Twilly and this chic little equestrian type pattern. I feel like it's one of those wardrobe staples that just can like add an extra pop to an outfit and make your outfit stand out a little bit versus everyone else's outfits, if you get what I'm saying. And I think it's so chic. Okay, this knot was not the cutest knot I've ever done, but we will be fine. We will move on. With this, I'm wearing a pair of slacks. These are one of those slacks that I'm not a super huge fan of. They're made from polyester, so they feel like I'm wearing a plastic bag. My legs cannot breathe. I, as I've said in other videos, want to find a pair of navy blue slacks in a cotton, in a linen, in a wool, in something that breathes and let my legs be free, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So these Club Monaco ones, they're not ideal. They're polyester. They're not my fave. 
Also, my shoes, I'm wearing them right now, but I will show you. My Echo loafers, I think these are such a classy, classic loafer. And I'm pairing them because these Club Monaco slacks, they're not only navy blue, but they have a little bit of a black weave running through them as well. So they pair actually really nicely with loafers in a black color, even though I'm pairing the blazer in a navy blue color. That was a lot of color in the same sentence. And then I'm wearing my Celine Triumph tote because I'm obsessed with that bag. Now, because we started on a little bit more of a casual note, let's also end on a little bit more of a casual note with the last look that I've been wearing on repeat recently. So let's move into that. We're back in something a little bit black. <laughs> I know this is a spring video, but I will always wear black, let's be honest, even if it's spring. So we're wearing my little ribbed turtleneck thingy. This is like a vintage little turtleneck. It's 100% silk, so it's very breathable. It's very comfy. I am obsessed. It is in a size large, so it is a little bit big, but I think that's part of the vibe, you know? Do you agree? Then I'm wearing another thing I found in a secondhand shop. My new favorite pair of denim, apart from the ones that I've gotten from my mom, but for being a pair that has not been passed to the family for the past like 50 years, you know, I'm obsessed with these. They are the best. They're fitted through the like hips and waist and then they flare out a little bit and they do this cute little bunchy thingy over your sneakers which I'm obsessed with at the moment so I love these little jeans. With them I'm wearing my little Saint Laurent Art Deco belt and this little python vibe and with that Burberry Sandringham trench coat in the short style. This is one of those things that, or not things, this is one of those outfits, apologies, that I wear when I don't really know how the weather is gonna be. You know, it could be super cold, but it could also be very, very warm. So then I wear this t-shirt. I also wear a trench coat and over the top of that, I drape my totem sweater because I think the totem sweater draped over the Sandringham short trench coat, I think is such a look, like literally a look. I'm obsessed. So that's a vibe, clearly. Also on occasion, I'm wearing them with my Saint Laurent black sneakers. These are so uncomfortable because I bought them in a size or a half size too small. So I'm low-key trying to make them work. I'm also low-key thinking of selling them every time I wear them because they cut my feet to pieces, literally. But also I'm like, they're so cute, so I don't wanna sell them. And I have not been able to find the same style in my size, so I'm just like braving the pain at this point. <laughs> Whatever people tell you on the internet, don't size down in Saint Laurent sneakers, at least if you are someone like me who are in between sizes. My other ones I have, no, actually I size down an entire size. My other ones are in my true size, so 37 and a half. These are in a 36 and a half. People told me to size down a size, I did, and now my feet are suffering. Don't do what I did, buy your true size in Saint Laurent sneakers, please. Save your feet, don't do what I did. And this look I've been wearing with my little Saint Laurent sac de shore, because I think with the Python little Art Deco belt, my Saint Laurent sac de chair in the croc embossed leather I think goes so nicely with this look. I am obsessed. It gives me all the rocker chic kind of vibes, you know, the Eddie Slamon era of Saint Laurent and I adore it. We love, so. Saint Laurent sac de chair Nano is making a reappearance. We love her. She's such a timeless classic bag. And also a little bit of that kind of quiet luxury vibe that we've been seeing on the internet everywhere recently. I feel like she does that vibe so well. So that I think is a good note to end on, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this little outfits I've been wearing on repeat video gave you some new inspiration on outfits you can wear on repeat as well. And we can be outfit repeaters together. How fun is that? <laughs> Which outfit was your favorite? 
do you have any upgrades for any of these outfits i would love to know please help me to make my style better we're all on this style journey together that rhymed also do you think these looks matched my luxurious equestrian cafe style narrative let's talk all about style in the comments guys thank you so much for watching and for spending this time and space with me and until my next video, stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye. Peace.